Hello and welcome to HHC TV News. I'm Megan Edmonds. This is our report for the week ending the 4th of the 4th, 14. Our stories this week are Onesie Fun Run, Summer Show and Things to Do in the Break. But first we have the book of the week. Hi, I'm Jessica here with Sophie for our second edition of Book of the Week. This week it's Erin Hunter Week and we'll talk about her very first book called Warrior Cats Into the Wild. So, how does Warrior Cats start? With a house cat called Rusty. As we did last week, what age would you recommend this book? Around 10 because it's a bit scary. How many Warrior Cat books are there then? Around five series full of six books in each. Out of ten, what would you give this book and why? I would give this book a ten because it's very adventurous. Hmm. If you want more on these books, then visit the library where you could find most of her books, like Seekers and Word of the Week, which is... Ostentatious. ...which is characterised by pretentious or showy display, designed to impress. And I'll see you on the 6th of April for more, book, for more books of the weeks and for where our special guest is coming in. Thank you. Thank you, Jess. I think I might read that book myself. Next, we have Blackpool FC home fixtures and activities you can do in the holidays. On Saturday, the 5th of April, Blackpool play Yeovil, which is a 5 pm kickoff. On Tuesday, the 8th of April, Blackpool are playing Derby at 7 45 pm. And on Friday, the 18th of April, Blackpool play Burnley, which is a 5 15 kickoff. The Pleasure Beach has now reopened fully. On Saturday 12th, 19th and Sunday the 20th, the Pleasure Beach is open from 10am to 8pm and for the rest of the two weeks it's open from 10am to 6pm. Also, Sandcastle is open. From 5th of April to 11th of April it's open from 10am to 5pm and from the 12th of April to the 17th of April it's open from 930 to 6 p.m. Hello, I'm Jess with one of my previous interviewees, Danny. So last time I saw you, you were quite anxious because that was before the show. But now you've done it and you've got through, you've finally done it. So how do you feel about that? I was nervous at first, but now I am super excited for the show. So I heard that you're going to do a show for the end of the show show for us. Like, what are you singing? I am singing a song from Fame. Okay, shall we get to it then? Let's do this. Baby, look at me and tell me what you see. You ain't seen the best of me, yeah. Give me time, I'll make you forget the rest. I've got more of me and you can set it free. I can catch the moon in my hand. Don't you know who I am? Remember my name. Thank you, Danny, for that wonderful piece. Can we have another round of applause off our audience? <laughs> and with me tonight is Danny Ridgeway with her beautiful piece of fame. Thank you and good night. Now over to the Wansey Fun Run. Hi, I'm Megan Edmonds reporting from the Wansey Fun Run. We're, uh, we're, we're here to ask some questions from these people, nice people. So, how did you come up with the idea? I didn't. We asked, we asked to vote on what we do as a form for a disabled, Dogs for the Disabled charity. Uh, the form voted for a cake sale and a fun run. Somebody then wanted a non-uniform day, wanted a onesie non-uniform day. We kind of massed it all together, so we made it a big fun run onesie cake sale day thing instead. Um, what charity is it for? It's for our school charity, Dogs for the Disabled, which you've had assemblies on and we've all had regular updates for, I hope. Have you ever done anything like this before? I've done fun runs before for charities, but I've not done one in a, in a onesie. This is my first onesie I've ever owned. I had to go and buy one specially once we chose to do the, the onesie fun run. Thank you. Hello. How many, how many laps do you think you're going to do today? A lot. Do you think it's a good idea? Yes, it'll raise lot, uh, quite a lot of money for the charity. 
Do you, do you think it's a good idea that they're using onesies? Yeah, because it's a fun and exciting way to, to use them. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you for watching HHC TV News. If you have anything you would like us to report on, please see a member of our team. Their names are listed on the credits following. Have a nice Easter.